Welcome back to Piano Book. This one's going to be really exciting. It's a real Kitchener, your piano book community needs you. But it's going to be fun too. In exactly a month from today, it'll be the 88th day of the year. And that means it's going to be another piano day, which is very poignant for this community because I don't know if you recall, we launched the Piano Book site on this day. Piano Day is Neil Fram's creation and it's just a, a day of people coming together to make music. And I feel that Piano Day and Piano Book spirit are very Align. So we are hoping to be working with the Piano Day organisers on this very exciting project. But what to do? That's Kellen and I doing a kind of systems jam, which has since evolved into something that sounds like this. But it got me thinking about systems, about Steve Reich's kind of six pianos, his Music for 18 Musicians, Terry Riley's In C. And I thought, what if we, as a community, could create the world's biggest piece of systems music? A little bit like what Eric Whittaker did with his virtual YouTube choir, but with pianos and other stuff the piano book community. And Kellen came up with the excellent idea of why don't we kick it off with something simple, just a pulse like you get at the center of Terry Riley's In C. And I've got a funny story about In C because a lot of people think that basically Steve Reich took the pulsing flavor of Terry Riley's In C on and created Music for 18 Musicians, Piano Phase, all of these different masterpieces. This really annoys Steve because he didn't take it on he came up with the idea. You see, Steve was in Terry's band. He didn't think In C was really hanging together. It lacked cohesion. And he said, Terry, you need a pulse. Career defining. And it's not in C, it's in D. But I think we should use all the white notes in D, giving us D, Dorian. Right, what to do next? take part? Well, in the video description down below is a download pack of stuff that can help you contribute to this massive systems piece. You don't need to be a Logic user to be involved. Any door will do alongside any instrument, virtual or virtuous. We're working at 48K, 24-bit if possible. This doesn't really matter because you're going to be uploading this to YouTube, so that'll sort itself out. But there's a couple of things to look out for. We're working at 88 BPM and we have a sync plot at the beginning. Now, this is going to be crucial for us to be able to synchronize what you have done with what we have done. So this this happens at bar one. The piece, as always with me, starts at bar five. And at bar 88, I've got a second sync plop. Now, if we zoom in here, you'll see it really is bang on the 88th bar. Now, experience has shown that not all BPMs are created equal, which sounds ridiculous, I know, but this is a means of you checking that the tempo is absolutely tight. So bar 88, you get your sync plop there. If it isn't, you'll have to adjust your tempo so it fits. For example, last week, Kellen and I, we created that systems piece at what we thought was 98 BPM, courtesy of the Polyen Sec. When we got it into Logic, Logic thought that that piece was actually at 97.74 BPM. So this is something that's really important to check. Get rid of that plop because we don't want to hear it, but we absolutely do need to hear the plop at the beginning. So what to do next? Well, you could do something like Kellen tried here. But it doesn't have to be pianos, it could be anything, a, a mandolin. Or indeed, a freshly drunk wine glass. And included in the download pack is a chord chart, 
and a MIDI file so you can see what I've done. Now, these inversions, you can change those, you can change the rhythms, do exciting, I don't know, strummed guitars or thumping, pulsing basses, the Steve Reich signature. Da, 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 da. This is to merely give you an idea of the harmonic structure of the piece, but more importantly, an idea of the architecture. So we'll start with an intro, go into the chords, have a more tacit section where the chords and the bass drop out, followed by a climax, and then I thought it would be fun at the very end for us all to attempt a natural fade. So instead of fading stuff out with faders, we just play quieter. And I have a feeling that our timing is going to go a little bit all over the place, but in a way that I suspect will be pleasing. And it doesn't have to be single takes. As you can see, I'm just repeating Kellen's part as a loop, but it would be great to have a slight variation between the different sections of the piece, as I've mentioned. As for time correction, I'm happy for this to happen. However, a word of warning, let me just give you a little example. That to me sounds like three people clapping in time and one person clapping out of time. So what I'm going to do is correct what I'd refer to as the howler and bring them onto the beat just to correct that one kind of erroneous clap. Sounds like four clappers clapping. However, you can go too far with this. And if we pull everything so it's bang on the beat, it no longer sounds like four hands clapping. It just sounds like one kind of big hand and we don't want this systems piece to sound like a big hand. We want it to sound like many hands. So do try and maintain your natural groove and I think a really good rule if we look here at Kellen's MIDI piano what I'm going to do is I am going to quantize that. There we go that's all tightened up but instead of it being totally bang on the beat I'm going to reduce the quantize strength, and it may be called something different on your door, to 50%. That would be a nice little rule for us to adhere to, if at all possible. So it's tightened up, but it still maintains Kellen's groove. Please don't try and EQ your pianos too much or compress them. I'd love them to be as natural as possible. We will do that at this end, and we're going to bring things in and out and shape them, all of that kind of stuff. So the raw material, please. If you have any reverbs on, knock those off. But if you have any musical delays, keep them on. And finally, make sure you get rid of the clicks. Remember to mute my pulses, my chords. I already have those. I don't need them back from you. I just want what you've recorded. When you bounce down, please make sure you bounce down with the first plop, but not the last. And finally, if it can be normalized to the highest peak at the end, that would be much appreciated. But most of all, have fun. And as an incentive to encourage you to be as inventive as possible, I'm going to gift six of the most adventurous, the funnest, the most imaginative entries something very special that I'm not allowed to talk about yet. But maybe more importantly, faculty heads, professors, if you can encourage your students to take part, or indeed if you're a student and want to gather some of your pals together to have a go to represent your college or school or university, I will, to the most adventurous, the most inventive, the most fun entry, gift six copies of Albion One to your school, college or university. The final thing to do is to simply upload it to YouTube and use this handle, hashtag pianobook Piano Day 2020. Either put that in the title or in the video description and then YouTube will tag it and will find you. And if you're happy to on camera, tell us who you are, do a little explanation of how you approach this, that's great. Provided you use the sync prop, you can start the performance anywhere in that film. And in fact, I've done two examples of what I would consider to be perfect entries in this respect, just for you to double check how I would approach entering this mass collaboration event. So today's the 28th of February, Piano Day is the 20th of March. So let's say all entries in by the 20th. I will remind you, so do subscribe either to this channel or to my socials, all linked below, to give us eight days clear to mix it and to create this aggregate video that I'm imagining in my head. 
good luck with this. And as I say, I'm gonna be updating this once a week so you can see how the systems piece is emerging, what we're missing, what we're needing, what we've got too much of, what we've got too little of. So subscribe if you haven't done already. I'm gonna get off this cliff now. Ding that bell if you wanna be notified the next time I put a video up. And one of those for Piano Day. See you next week.